Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy and this will be the part 21. Hell to the year. <laughs> so sit back and enjoy the gameplay that I'm about to show you guys. But before we begin, previously on Hogwarts Legacy. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Alright. Oh, okay, Poppy, this is not good. Not good at all. Okay, this is the second time, right? We're gonna get surrounded by people. But this time it's not people, it's centaurs. What do you think you're doing here, humans? I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. Huh. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. Alright, alright, alright. So in part 20, we decided to help Poppy to find more clues on the Snidget that her grand is researching on. Knowing full well that I am not sure what that is, I don't even know what the hell that is, but I do know one thing. The Snidget are an extinct creature? Or maybe a thing? I'm not too sure. <laughs> but we decided to ask the sensors for help. That's what I thought in the first place. But Poppy did a surprise visit and they got the wrong idea. Apparently we stepped into their territory without their permission. And they wanted to chop our head off. Thankfully, Doran, the centaur, didn't like the idea of chopping young wizards and witches head because we are innocent and we haven't done anything wrong yet. But once we told him about the Snidget thing, he gave us a clue about a mountain and Poppy wanted to do more research on it, so we have to wait for her. After that, we went to Felcroft to meet with Sebastian and Sebastian told Anne that got a cure for her. But in order for the cure to work, we have to go into the catacomb. Catacomb. <laughs> so yeah, we have to wait for him again. I'm not too sure why this game. We have to wait for them. I mean for their owl. And finally, we went into a cave. And we saw this drill that I mean decipher. And that's not a good sign. We venture into the cave, which led us into a room, into a troll. And finally, we got the triptych. The final triptych picture. Once we place it in onto the triptych a pensive appear and we look into it and it was a Zodora Mogunak memory and that is it for the part 20 recap so for today we are heading over to Poppy and Poppy sent her owl yeah that's good to Irondale all right Madam Poppy here I am no it's not Madam right it's Miss Miss Poppy you made it yes Yes, I do. Oh, is it B? It's the first time I saw them. Oh. Hi, Poppy. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. Seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Why don't we just go? Yeah. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. What? Poppy? Stop saying... No, don't say that. Right, Moonstone. Moonstone. Wow, I feel like Indiana Jones right now. Thank you. 
Ugh. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out. Later. Come on. Poppy. Nice, Poppy. Oh. Poppy threw that Chinese chopping cabbage. Nice, Poppy. Petrificus Totalis. What? Uh, what's this? Okay, maybe the pulso it is. Oh, okay, I know what this is. Uh wait, credit, that's not important. No. Okay, let's prepare for anything. Focus. Whoa. Focus. Poppy. Look at this. I beg your pardon. This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. What? Mad? But they are so beautiful. Oh. It reminds me of how to train a dragon. I'm not sure, but hey, let's try, right? Okay, puzzles. Oh. Why am I not surprised? Oh, okay, First okay. The Fuipers, and now this. I know what this is. Poppy, shut up. Let me figure this out. Triangle, triangle. Okay. We need to find moths for those spinners. Okay, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Um this and a bullseye, bullseye. Nope, nothing. E to circle and a triangle. Circle triangle. Hey. Lumos. Lumos. Also. There's two. Okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. So a circle and a bullseye. Akio. Lumos. Lumos. Poppy. Let me do it, okay? Also. All right. Another obstacle. Whoa. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Lumos. Lumos. Akio. Yeah. Also. Bobby, hurry up. Oh, there's Hi. one more there. It's beautiful. Wait, hang on. Lumos. Let me see this. Also. Oh. Okay, cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lumos. Oh. Okay, we should take that last. Get this. You know what, Poppy? You can help us, right? Cast Lumos on it and then... Ah, oh, never mind, Poppy. 
Never mind. Fupus, there you go. The colors of the focus is very vi vibrant, right? Yeah. Holy crap. It's a sight to behold. Ready, Poppy? Oh, no, 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 no. Great spine. Nice, Poppy. Yeah, I seem to forgot that you're a Hufflepuff, right? Yeah, no wonder you, you, you fight with this. Chinese chomping cabbage. Let's go, Poppy. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. What? Should we take a closer look? Well, let You've me get this. Oh, no. Let's dive. Let's go, Poppy. Let's go for a swim. Okay, that was quick. Poppy? Nice. Merlin, it's even more pretty than close up. Uh, it's got to be here. I just know it. Poppy? No, no, no. Here. Confringo! I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. What? <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here. Assuming this is where the moonstone is. Oh, is this which the one? means we're one step ahead of them. Okay, that's good. Scholar's moonstone. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Let's go. Yeah. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. Yeah. I think that's it over there. Ah. Uh. What, should we jump? How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. Uh, Bobby. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Oh. Let's go here. Wait. Bruh. Let's walk here. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's time to do some climbing, I guess. Yep. Climb. Poppy, can you reach it? Poppy? Oh, nice, Poppy. Oh, you, you're short, but yet you can climb. Wow, that amazed me. Wait, let me get my defender. All right, this hinges. Hengi. We can safely say we know where the moonstone goes. Yep, when there's a hole, you place it.
This is a monk off. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the moon calf dancing. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was a moon calf dance do you know how rare it is to see even one they only ever happen under a full moon though i suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal all part of the dance no one pattern is ever the same though we'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it can't wait to tell Gran i've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances she'll be jealous you've seen this before it was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... Okay. Yeah, we shouldn't pry on it. If you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see... The night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Yo, wait, what? Yeah, nah, we shouldn't be hot on her. Yeah. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. I never knew you come from that background, so yeah, it's okay. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Oh, I'm ready to... what? Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. After a good night's sleep. Oh my goodness, Poppy. Oh. As long you are safe. Fuck it. Right, since Poppy is taking her own sweet time, so let's just head over to Lock God, right? Whoa, this is a big cave. No, no, this is not a cave, this is a mine. And there's a bunch of enemies here. Wow, Lock Gog. Alright, you guys want to play? Hey, 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 hey. Hang on. Oh, 
used any more of you. Revelio. Ah. Okay. The lot got whoa. Oh, there you go. Hey, come on. There you go. Blue flame here. And get this first. All right, Lord Gok. Lord Gok. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh wow. Oh god, what kind of trouble you are hitting into? Hey! Okay. Okay. Bombarder. Stand down. Lord Gok. Lord Gok, where are you? This place stinks of Radrock and his cronies. No sign of Lord Gok out here. He must be inside already. Damn, Lord Gok. He's old. Look at the size of this. Something seems wrong. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ah, you this know what? This place is teeming with Radrock. Well, that's a good combo, right? This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. Okay, sure. Roller coaster right, here we come. Just like Gringotts. But I'm in the driver's seat this time. Okay, the camera is a bit weird. How deep will this take? Renrock's gonna be pleased with our progress. Okay, it's a bit slow, it's a bit slow, no problem. Has to be the end up ahead. Eight. What is this? Train cut schedule? Maybe? Maybe. Lord Gok. Oh. Okay. Oh my goodness, Lord Gok. You're making me work. I wonder where these pipes go. Akio. It is one thing we need. We need liquid luck. And then stand by this. Hola, como esta? Glance off of me. No. Wow, crazy. Wow. Oh, so much for liquid luck, huh? Liquid luck, you suck. Patrol. 
harder. And I will make him. Oh, you think One you're harder. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wait, this is not the place. No, 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 no. Let's focus. Focus on finding Lord Gok. That's what's important right now. Lord Gok. Whoa. Accio. Okay, more enemies. That's okay, we can handle them. Oh, wow. This thing should sure take its knife, huh? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm coming. Don't worry. That's light work, no it's issue. Oh. Okay, cool. I hope I can get to Ranrock before Loggok does. Ah, my goodness. Ah, um, yes, no, yes. All right, Loggok. What are you up to? No. Not Gok. Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> Get out of here! I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists. Hit a troll with an old boy. Oh wow. Alright boys, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Now it's time. That was meant for me. Get this. And finally, we fight. That's it. Alright, where's the last one? I did not expect to see Ranrock here. Oh, big boy. That is unfortunate. No matter, we will build another. I found this one lurking outside. Lord Gok. Lord Gok. Come to make amends, little brother. Brother? I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? What? Don't tell me that's Brightboard's di diary, right? It cannot be. All this time. You knew. You knew where it was. Don't! Are you alright? I'll never understand you, Lord Gok. So gullible. That witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository. Searching in vain for Bragbore's last journal. 
Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. All right, he's insane. I was bringing it to you. What? You are a traitor to our kind. Why no. do you just stand there? Oh my goodness, you can cut. Why should I answer to Serona? Oh no! Not oh, God died. Brother's hand. No, you can cast something. So hard to reason with him. Oh, poor Lord God. Now he was a nice goblin. Place. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. Why should I answer to Serona, man? Oh, damn it. Oh, goodness. Onwards to the map chamber then. Damn. Alright, it's time to begin. Ah, it's time to begin this quest. I hope Professor Fig got my L. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the L I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. I'm afraid I can't say. I didn't read the journals. I fear you are correct. The situation is far from ideal, but we can wait no longer. I will defer to Professor Rockham as to how to proceed. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. What? What beast? Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Jason, more trials. You guys are. Mm. Oh wow! I, mm. I could have saved Lord Cook, man, but this game doesn't allow me to do so. Damn it. What should I say to Serona? Stand by and watch him die? Maybe Ranrock's too powerful? I don't know, I couldn't come up with any excuses. Oh, goodness me. What's with all of these trials? It's... Uh, my... 
could they be hiding? Whoa, whoa, whoa. My foot, right? I surely hope so. This is it. You're here. I have good news. We what? do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Revelio. Revelio it is. Whoa, maybe burn this? Goldfingo. Is that oh. a... It is. I believe I know what must be done. Is it a graph one? Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It, yeah. It looks like a grap horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grap horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Thanks for your help, I guess. Fine. What the hell? Okay, I see you guys there. Beep, whoop. Is this place? No, 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 no. My job is to find a grab horn. Apparently, that is how you pronounce it, not grab horn, creator. It's grab horn. So many enemies here. Whoa! Whose ribcage is that? Big ass ribcage here. All right, Mr. Grapon. Well, Lord of the Shore, show yourself. Lord of the Shore. Oh wow! Thing is huge. Hang on, hang on. Whoa. Stand down. I need your help. Oh, okay, okay. What is that? Maybe he going Super Saiyan mode? Hang on, hang on. Get this. I said stand down. Okay, what am I doing? Neil? Well, he is the Lord of the Shore, so... Okay... Is this good enough? Help, friend. Maybe he's hungry? You want some treat, boy? Wow... Why are you glowing, though? 
Wait, we can ride this? What the hell? Gallop charge. Okay. All right, boy. It's time for a ride. Go. That's worry. She said Sebastian promised her that I would be there if she went to meet him at the car. But now he's asking her to join him immediately and to come alone. She says he doesn't sound himself. Meet us at the catacomb as soon as you can. I hope that my quill has conveyed my message clear. Get away from me! Boom! Good boy. Magnificent creature, huh? Okay, is this good enough? Calm down, boy. Calm down. Wait, are you a male or female? It's time for me to go ahead alone. Can we go in together? I really hope so. No. I'll see you soon, boy. I'll see you soon. Alright. The final trial. Here we go. Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Go. Oh, no trial. All right. I was thinking of fighting a pensive. Okay, never mind. All right, here we go. Send Bakar's memory. Isadora? Isadora? I like his voice though. Isadora? <laughs> oh, Mr. Morganak, I... What's happening? Why is this fog? Mr. Morgan? Okay. Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. Percival. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Student? No way, man. Oh no. Why does this remind me of the pipe piper? To your common room, all right? What have 
you done? Take a breath. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora. Set down your wand. Professor. You taught me to hone my power. Not throw it away. Oh, shut I up. I not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> Oh, that's a damage though. Holy crap. That's how she died? What the hell? He used the... He used the unforgivable spell. She's alive. I thought she died. But no. He, what? Here I am thinking using a Vada Kedavra is wrong. But you... You use it without hesitation. What about Sebastian though? Is Sebastian in the wrong? Oh goodness me. The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us. To allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. 
that is it for the video so thank you so much for watching do leave a like and subscribe to this channel and it will help me tremendously so yeah stay tuned for more and have a good one guys see ya